Shortly after taking office, Ike's newly appointed director of the CIA, Alan Dulles, alerted him that a communist takeover was imminent in Guatemala. Jacobo Arbenz, the democratically elected president, had recently instituted a land reform program, expropriating foreign-owned property and returning it to the peasants. This policy enraged the powerful U.S.-owned United Fruit Company, which until then had controlled 40% of all arable land in Guatemala. The fruit company boasted powerful friends in the U.S. administration, including both Alan Dulles and his brother John Foster Dulles, now Secretary of State, both of whom had worked as lawyers for United Fruit. Flushed with the success of their coup in Iran, the CIA presented Ike with a plan to overthrow the Arbenz government. It entailed training a small group of mercenaries on a base in Honduras to be led by the local folk hero Castillo Armas. Soon CIA airplanes were buzzing Guatemala, dropping small bombs. When Arbenz appealed to Moscow for help, Eisenhower ordered a naval blockade. The CIA delivered the final coup de grace by broadcasting over the radio that an invasion force was on its way to Guatemala. Fearful that Eisenhower was about to send in the Marines, Jacobo Arbenz fled to Switzerland. <laughs> 